week in a row, Danville police were investigating a case of gun violence. Now, members of one Danville organization are speaking out in hopes of curbing the growing trend. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstad joins us now live at the scene of the latest shooting. So, Coulter, what's this group saying? Yeah, I spoke to Life Push LLC, which offers life counseling services every weekend for the past five weeks here in Danville. There has either been a shooting or a homicide. The latest, of course, happening outside Buffalo Wild Wings Saturday night. Police say a man was shot and taken to the hospital in a private vehicle where he uh, received treatment for non-life-threatening injuries. And Melvin Powell was shot and killed inside his Elizabeth Street home on, on uh, July 31st. The following weekend, on August 7th, a man was shot on College Park Drive. On August 13th, three-year-old Trey Betts was killed as a result of an accidental discharge from a gun. Last weekend, on the 20th, Christopher Lamont Motley was shot and killed at the Southwick Hills Apartments. Finally, last Wednesday, a car was hit by gunfire at the intersection of Jefferson Street and Colhoun Street, but no people were hit. The president of Life Push tells me he feels this violence is preventable if people would simply make an effort to take advantage of the resources here in the city that can help them work through the problems they may be having that may be leading to this violence. The, the city has done a great job of providing resources out here for our youth and uh, your younger adults going into your middle-aged adults um, for development purposes. And what you're seeing is a lot of folks are not taking advantage of those resources. Now, I did reach out to the police chief and the police department's spokesperson multiple times today, but I was told that no one was available for comment. Police have not yet released the name of Saturday's, uh, the victim in Saturday's shooting or what led to that shooting. Live in Danville, Colter Anstead, WSLS 10.